In this question, we're given a pictograph that represents the weather recorded by Mrs. Miller's class over 18 days. And we have to determine the number of days that this symbol here represents. Well, let's start by looking at the symbols. So for sunny days, two symbols were used. For cloudy days, just the one symbol. And for rainy days, there was one and a half symbols used. So the total number of symbols, one, two, three, four, and a half. Now let me come over here and draw one, two, three, four, and then a half circle for those symbols. So all of these together make up the 18 days. So let's add in here a calendar that uh, we can use for reference. And I'll move it down to the corner. And let's uh, mark off 18 days on the calendar. Let's say that Mrs. Miller's class started recording on the first of the month. So let's say there's one day, two days, three days, etc. So we've marked off the 18 days in which Mrs. Miller's class recorded the weather. And what we can do is evenly distribute all of these days into our representation of the symbols. Okay, let's start with day one. We'll take day one and we'll move it up into the first circle. And then we'll take day two and move it into the second circle. Day three goes in the third. Day four goes in the fourth. Now when we get to day five, this uh, can't put it all into this half circle. Uh, really we'd have to put it right on the edge there, so it's really like half a day. So rather than do that, let's go back and put it in our first circle. And we'll keep filling up our full circles for now. So we'll put day six there. Put day seven there. Day eight there. So when we get to day 9, we can put that in our half circle because that would be half the number of days represented in the other circles. So we can go ahead and put day 9 in the half circle. So for every 2 we put in the big circles, the full circles, we can put 1 in the half circle. Okay, so we can continue. We'll go back and put another one in there. And we'll just keep going here. Another one in there, and then another one up there, another one there. And I can't put one in the half circle until I get another two in the other ones. Or another one there, another one there, another one there, another one there, and then I can put the last one here in the half circle. So we've taken the 18 days and we've evenly distributed them among the four and a half circles. And these represent our symbols. So one of these represents one of these and it contains one, two, three, four days. So the key here is that that represents four days. And we can double check if I put four for that, four for that, four for that, four for that, and then half of four, which would be two, and add those all up. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. So that matches our eighteen days, and so we know we've got the right answer. We looked at our list of options, and we can see that the third option, the number four, is the right answer. And there we go. Now just for fun, we could do a little bit more analysis here. We could ask ourselves how many days of the 18 were sunny? Well, there would be 4 plus 4, or 8 days that were sunny. There were 4 days that were cloudy, and there were 6 days that were rainy.